Hey, I'm in high up. Then the chapter on trigonometry, graphs and equations, mixed exercise for J number one, which says for this function here, state its period, its amplitude, and sketch the graph. Right, one, the period. Well, it should take 360 degrees. It should finish at 360 degrees. So if that end position was 360 degrees, then that means that the new position is going to be 360 divided by 5, which is 72 degrees. So I can say its period is 72 degrees. Two, that's easier. <coughs> the multiplying number is three, so its amplitude is three. That was easy. Doesn't ask for that vertical shift there. Notice that one is outside of the cost calculation. It's affecting the answer up and down the way. And the third part was, right, sketch the graph. So I need a set of axes. Then to draw that on the set of axes, I'll do that one first of all. That means instead of the cost oscillating about the x-axis, it's going to oscillate about a line which is one higher up. So about a line here, at one. And then the cost is going to start, it's an amplitude of three, so it's going to start three above it at four, and go down to three below it at negative two, like this. Finishing at 72, so that's actually on 72, the 72 being here. But it says carry on until 90. Well, 72. Those four parts of 72 are 18 each. So another 18 means it's just another one of these quarters, one of these quarters of the wavelengths. So that the final part would just be another one that comes back down to the axis here. So it's back down to where it's zero would have been. And that would then take it up to 90 degrees. That turning point's at 72. That must be halfway then. So this one here would be at 36. And those would be the ones I'd be putting in. I don't know these points without calculations. Because those other halfway points, the 18 and so on, actually occur on the line 1. Not at these points here. Right, that's the first one. So, part B then. Well, this should have been first because this is much simpler than the other one. So for this one, the same thing it said. First of all, what's the period? Well, at that original angle there, it would have been at 360. So if 2x is 360, that means the new position for the termination will be 360 divided by 2, which is 180. So it finishes at 180 now. So the period is 180. Secondly, the amplitude. Well, that's easy, it takes no calculation. It's staring you in the face there, that half that's multiplying it. So the amplitude's a half, only goes up and down a half. It goes up and down a half and it finishes at 180 and there's no vertical shifts and there's no horizontal shifts. So when it comes to part three, which says sketch the graph of it, it will simply be, here's the axis. And this will go up a half, down a half, finishing at 180. 80 being the period, but if you have to draw all the way to 360, it just means you have to put in another one. And then, don't know how much more information you want, suppose I could put in those ones on 90, and that's going to be 270. Putting in the turning points makes it a bit crowded, maybe I'll just leave it like that.